Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge is a brand new game that dropped on Steam and various other platforms yesterday. And a friend of mine gave me the game as a gift because they knew how much I loved not only just Turtles as a kid, but just especially the old Turtles arcade games. And this game, Turtles Shredder's Revenge, might as well have been called TMNT 5 or TMNT 6. If you want to count Hyperstone Heist as 5, this could have been the 6th game because this legitimately feels like a continuation to Turtles in Time. This is the logical next game in the series, and I gotta say... It's freaking awesome. So unlike the previous arcade TMNT games or even the NES ports, in this game you can play as not only the four turtles, Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael, but you can also play as Splinter and April O'Neil, and you can unlock other characters as well. This game was made for people who grew up a fan of the classic Ninja Turtles arcade style beat-em-ups. Not only the original and Turtles in Time in the arcade, but also Turtles 2 on NES, the Manhattan Project on NES, and Turtles in Time on Super Nintendo, and like I mentioned, Hyperstone Heist on the Sega Genesis Mega Drive. This game is a modern retro beat-em-up from the same people who developed or who helped to develop Streets of Rage 4, the other big beat-em-up nostalgia sequel. And man, I had a great time playing this game. Yesterday I played the arcade mode because there's multiple modes in the game. You can do a story mode where you actually use the turtle van to get around the city and go to levels, sort of like a Mario 3 type of map. Um, but also you have the arcade mode, which is the classic side-scrolling beat-em-up story following the same tradition of the previous arcade turtle games. In this game, what's going on is that Shredder and his forces have abandoned the Technodrome and they're trying to find the pieces of Krang's body to put together to resurrect Krang's body back to where it was before. And you have to stop them from doing so by going through 15, I didn't stutter, 15 different stages facing off against enemies from the classic 1987 TMNT animated series as well as the Playmates figures. And it's not just the traditional Bebop and Rocksteady and Baxter Stockman enemies. The Rat King is in this game. You've got Ground Chuck and Dirtbag. You've also got characters like Wingnut and all of the classic variety of foot soldiers. And that's just a few. There's way more. I mean, there's Slash, there's Chrome Dome, there's tons of enemies that fans of the 1987 TMNT series, and of course those who collect the toys, which I was one of, would remember. I literally owned pretty much every not every, but almost every toy from this original line. It's tons of nostalgia, and even though I'm known on my main channel for covering Dragon Ball, my first true cartoon love, my first animated series that I really loved and franchise that I really followed was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And for this game to come out now... It's a breath of fresh air. The levels feel like something that's new, but also something from the past. It's colorful. There's tons of Easter eggs to the animated series as well as the previous games. There are pretty surprising and fun cameos from lesser known characters like, remember the four frogs? That's right, they're in this game in a cameo. And tons of little Easter eggs and surprises in the background that will take you back to the days when Turtle Mania was running wild. When it comes to the game, you know, graphically, it looks like something right out of the 16-bit era, but obviously, you know, in widescreen and probably with a bit better animation. But audio-wise, the game also has a soundtrack that really kind of sounds like something from the early 90s Turtle games, on top of the fact that they have sort of a modern feel to it because there's a couple of different hip-hop tracks on here that are literally about the Turtles and about Shredder. So as you're playing the game, you hear songs that are strangely familiar and nostalgic, but they're still new songs, as well as some remixes featuring some of the notes from the old music of the old arcade games. 
the gameplay is pretty much the same as you would be used to. You basically pick a turtle, or Splinter, or April, and you hack your way through various levels featuring different kinds of foot soldiers, Mausers, and different enemies to stop you from getting to a boss, and when you beat the boss, you move on to the next level. That's how the arcade mode works. The story mode, however, you drive around the turtle van. I mentioned that earlier. So the gameplay is familiar. Now, when it comes to the actual combat... There are some differences. It's not just like a two-button system or even a three-button system like the old games used to be. Although, you can still use just two or three buttons to get through the game. In this game, you've also got a designated special move button now, which does not take away your life like it used to. You have a blue meter in the upper left of the screen that charges up as you are playing and as you're doing combos on your enemies without getting hit. And when that happens, you can unleash a special move, different one per turtle. Then, of course, you've also got this, uh, you've got different ways of doing backflips, and you can do diving moves, slides, you can throw the enemy towards the screen, throw them around. So you've got a similar move set to the old arcade games and even Turtles in Time, but there are different ways of doing stuff, like the R1 button does a taunt, for example, if you're playing on PlayStation, and the circle button will actually do like a backflip or like a, a flip forward, which can be useful for avoiding enemies. So it's somewhat the same but just a tiny bit different but it's really easy to pick up this game and just start playing there is a small tutorial that tells you what button does what how to execute combos and things like that there's also now a double jump and you can do a double jump and then push the attack button to do like a spinning move in midair that also delivers multiple hits of damage for flying enemies and there are levels in this game much like with the old arcade games where you're on either like a, a turtle a cheapskate or you're in the sky eyes and you are on the water and you're sort of like you know skateboarding or, or waterboarding or whatever and the level's going very very fast and there's stuff being thrown at you like missiles and bombs and grenades and all kinds of things thrown your way so it just has that familiar classic feel but with an updated sort of uh, look and an updated control scheme Really, it can be played by anybody who's played the old arcade games. It is a great game, a gorgeous game, and a game that fans have been asking for for years, yo, because there is so much nostalgia, especially with 80s babies like me who grew up with these Turtles games and played them with our friends on Super Nintendo and Genesis for hours and hours and hours. That's what you're going to get here. And you can play it online with Steam with up to six characters, or you can play locally with two players, or maybe even more than that, depending on how many controllers you've got at home. So this is like a great party game, a great family game, um, and one that's just freaking awesome. Yo, there's tons of surprises and Easter eggs for the longtime Turtles fans, and Characters that have never been in Turtles games before making their debuts and little aspects of each Turtles personality. And on top of that, you've got the voices from the original Turtles. Maurice LaMarche is here, Rob Paulson. Unfortunately, not every voice actor returned, but a lot of them did. And that was a great treat for fans of the 87 TMNT series. And man, what a, what a great game. What a great service to this franchise this was. Pick up your copy of Shredder's Revenge today digitally or you can buy a physical copy from Limited Run Games, which I did buy for Switch and I'll be having it come through whenever it comes through, which is I think next month. Thank you very much. Have a great day and we'll talk soon.